Well, stop shaking y'all around here. It's back to reality. <laughs> it uh, we're we're back to our our good old average. I think this here is 12 years old. Yeah, this is 12 year old first inning. It's slash. It's uh, it's not horrible, but it's just not what we've got spot to all summer. But Mickey by himself over there is, there's uh, easily, there's probably two loads there under him. And we've loaded uh, five. Yeah, we've loaded five so far. Didn't get started till, I say, we got started just as soon as we got here, but we had to finish, you know, setting stuff up. Like over there beside Mickey, see how that's got that little divot. We had to open that up for uh where he could swing his wood because you're, you're having to load this stuff with the butts out the back um I'm sure somebody has something to say about that because it seems like every time we start loading stuff like that they i don't know why you load like that that's stupid <laughs> it's, uh, we got michael running uh he's you know michael still doing his thing using our chambers again And then we have my my uncle Dwayne is is back today since we finally got some more we could use a little bit of extra help. He been helping out on Dad's job and Dad's job didn't need him today, so they are uh, we're using him here. We'll uh, not sure how much we're gonna get done today. Hopefully we'll get nine. We usually shoot for ten when we're in first inning like this. Uh, I'm having to cut the down rows with the rubber tire head of the track machine because this stuff, uh, it has rows planted in it, but it's so screwed up and seated back in on itself that it, uh, it's it's going to be hard for someone like Matt that's never really cutting that type of scenario. It took me, I got on the cutter whenever I, I said something about getting on the cutter yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be in the last video or maybe in this video, maybe right before this. Um, whenever I said I was going to get on the cutter, it took me, it was 2 o'clock when I got on it, got on it and uh, it was 4.30 whenever I finished that row. And that, I mean, I was cutting really hard. They skidded, one skidder skidded on that row to 11 o'clock today. Michael made three drags off of it yesterday, and then my uncle, he, he skidded to 11 o'clock on that one row. Long rows, normally don't get them that long. Thank God the ground is good or else it, it'd never work if the ground was even marginal. But uh, anyway, so we're just rocking and rolling, making our days, letting the ground dry a little bit. They're calling for another it depends on what weather model you look at. We're looking at one to three or two to four inches of rain again Friday. Today's Wednesday. So we got for sure today, tomorrow, and some of the day Friday probably. And then we're going to have to lay off of it and uh, come back Monday. But even if we can just make it to Friday, that'll give my crew five days because we, we piled up wood and everything to about two o'clock. Monday and then yesterday was Tuesday we spent all day moving and uh, today we're gonna leave a little bit early I, we have a me and my wife have a an ultrasound to go to one of those cool 3d ultrasounds for our new baby and get to go kind of check that out a little bit so we're gonna leave a little bit early today and then I figure Thursday we'll we'll work a little bit later just trying to, to push through and, and get as much as we can because again just like the changing of the, uh, the the forecast as far as rain totals we're looking at um, you know a variance as well in timing you know what time it's gonna get here some say it's gonna be early some say it's gonna be late some say it's gonna be in the middle of the day uh, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, 
it's one of those things part of logging it's uh you're always think things are are always uh changing it's a guessing game a lot of the times too <laughs> so but today's going pretty good today's going real good especially for one loader and just as soon as I can get a little bit more cut ahead of Matt, I'm probably going to cut one more row and get ahead of him. If I can cut one more row, that'll hold him for the rest of the day. Uh, he's standing with the track cutter behind the rubber tire. Um, we'll uh, get the old loader and put in over there. And if I don't do anything but just dig the trash and cut the tops out of it for Mickey, where all he has to do is run it through the box like that, That'll help increase production, so I'll, I'll probably, you know, not probably, whenever I can get loose enough to do it, we're, you know, that's what, that's our, that's our game plan, but anyways, that's enough for me rambling on, got y'all kind of updated what we got going on, let y'all watch Mickey run with the chambers here for a second, and I'm fixed to get back on the, on the me, me old, my old rubber tour she's fat got her fattened out with a, some duels on the front kind of helped me in the wet ground I can build all the accesses in this first inning with the rubber tire help the skitter out help Matt out help knock some of the bushes down as I'm cutting easier with it versus with the track machines that's going to help Mickey out and just all about working with the people below you and it starts with the cutter working with the skitter driver and then that turns into the skitter driver working with the loader man and it's all about those little things that increase production so anyway hopefully y'all having a great day we're fixing to uh fixing to hop back on the cutter get back to it and uh y'all hang out i'm sure i'll find something else interesting for y'all to watch here in a minute <laughs> we'll be back show y'all kind of what we had going on today is Thursday y'all see the clouds starting to roll in we have rain on the way yet again depending on what weather model you look at we're looking at a half to one inches of rain to the more be a pushed model they're talking like four to six three on the light side so what we've done here is we, we've built our access out of wood uh, like right here you little bear spot there and a little bear spot there but it's got enough wood there that I'll be able to fix it if it does rain enough but from here all the way to the loader is just solid wood what I like to call a wooden roller coaster same thing here I'm standing on top of a mat they've started another mat on the other side of those hardwood bushes there uh, everything should be complete except for what you see we leave these piles right here at the front that lets your uh, kind of helps hold your mat together for one until it can kind of get mashed down in the ground but for two 
Uh, it gives you a place because if it gets really wet and this is holding up good with the mats, your skitters can't just drive off over here on bare ground. So we'll leave these mats here and they'll have somewhere to get in and stop and each other can pass. <clears throat> but you can see we'll, we just squared everything up that way just in case it does rain. Um, I think I told them to make sure they had all of the uh, the thinning picked up over here. I'm trying to get to it and look and see. Because we have to have all of the thinning picked up before we can go home. Because as you see, that's a lot of thinning. But as you see, he's got that down through there, but nothing's tying it together here. So we can't leave it. Skitter's coming to go get on it. But, uh, yeah, we're just preparing for rain and starting to work down. Come on. It ain't gonna hit me. Come on. He's afraid that little green limb up there was gonna get me. Man. Nah. These rows are exactly 0.4 miles long. So some of the longest rows I've ever cut. And long, long rows. But anyway, we're, uh, we're wrapping the day up. If it's raining at all in the morning, we ain't even coming out. Probably have to lay off of it Saturday as well, depending on how much rain we actually get. Hey, we just give y'all a little update here. Got a horse fly trying to get me. But, uh, anyway, we'll be back in a minute.